It is snowing quite a lot outside, so this is our first attempt at filming inside. Fingers crossed, it actually works okay this time. Despite making a video on how to install a Dynamo front wheel and light, we still get questions as to how do I upgrade my front Dynamo light. This is the standard light that comes with your Brompton when you have a front Dynamo wheel. It's a Lumatech LYT light. It's 25 lumens, so it's really good for being seen in the city, but probably not so good for actually seeing in the countryside. So we get cast a lot, how do I upgrade it to a brighter light? This is the Shimano front wheel. The process of installing the light is exactly the same for the Shimano and for the SP SV8 wheels. This is the standard light, not on the bicycle. We're going to use this as a template to cut the cable to the right length to install our new light on the bicycle. This is the light that we're going to get ready to install on our bicycle. Well, actually, it's not for us. It's going to find its way to one of our customers. It's a Sciety Premium. It's an 80 lumen light and it's also got a stand function. There are lots of different lights with different functions and different lumens, but this is the one that we're going to get ready. So we're going to take you through the steps. We're going to cut the cable to length, we're going to cover it with a protective sheath, and we're going to install a tab dynamo connector so it's ready to install on the bicycle. This tab connector is exactly the same as used on the Shimano and the SPSV8 wheels, even though the dynamos look different. The tabs are interchangeable between the two systems. First of all, I'm going to take the light out of the packaging. Please remember that this connector will not work with your Brompton you will need to use the one that is already installed on your light that you're changing. It looks like this. The one that comes with the light will not go over the brake caliper. It does not work. I'm just going to get rid of the packaging. This is the cable that we are going to unravel and make the correct length using our template. It is far too long for a Brompton because it's designed for a big bicycle and to reach the front wheel of that. Before we measure this to length, we're going to take the bracket off because actually it's just easier. Now I'm going to measure the length of the cable against my template. I'm going to get the lights so they stay at the same point before I measure the cables out. For this, I'm going to use a chopstick. Pop it through the bracket and then through the other lights bracket. Then I know that they're at the same starting point. Then I'm going to lie out the cable. So this is my template and I'm comfortable that he is in a straight line to there. So that my new cable needs to be to there. I have some cable cutters and his cut. Like the Brompton cable, we're going to put a protective layer on the cable. We think this is because it gets a little bit more battering than a normal dynamo cable because of all the folding and unfolding. So here's our protective cable. We're going to measure the protective cable against the dynamo cable to get it to the right length. We are going to cut it slightly shorter than the dynamo cable because we need to install the tab connector. If it's too long, we can always trim it later. We're going to put the protective cable onto the dynamo cable and push it through. Yay! Yeah, hey. I'm just going to pull it slightly further through from this end so that the protector is all the way up to the light. Next I'm going to separate the dynamo wires so I can put them through my dynamo tab connector. So 
So very carefully, I'm going to get a pair of cable cutters and just score in the middle of the wires. Then using my template, which is the other end that I have cut off, I'm going to separate the wires. I want to make sure I have enough wire so it goes through the Dynamic Tab Connector. I've now separated my wires and I'm now going to put them through the Tab Connector before I strip the wire because it's much easier. I need my Tab Connector. This is the part where the wires go through and this is the part that connects it and holds the wires in place. This is a Shimano version. It works in exactly the same way as the SP version and they are interchangeable. We're just going to put the wires through the tab dynamo connector. Pushing them all the way through as we said, it is much easier before they are stripped. You want to pull them through enough to be able to strip them and then fold them back so that they'll just be held in place by the second half of the connector. So about there is perfect. The two wires are going to be in contact with these bits of metal on the dynamo. This is what makes your light work. The polarity of the two wires does not matter, luckily. So we're going to pull them out a little bit more than actually we think they need to come out because they need to be in contact with the inside of the tab dynamo connector. So I need to make sure that I can strip them and then the exposed wire is in here. Now I have my wires fed through, I'm going to strip the end off. have a checkered history of this. Now I have my wires nicely exposed, I'm just going to twist the threads together and then fold them over so that they will stay in place. The important bit here is to make sure that the wires do not touch each other, otherwise your light will not work. Once we're happy with them, we're going to put on the top and firmly put it in place until it clicks. Now for the moment of truth. The easiest way to check that you've installed everything correctly is to put it onto your dynamo before you install the light and make sure that the light comes on when you turn the front wheel. So we're just going to unfold our Brompton on the kitchen table and then we'll try. We would recommend asking for your significant other's permission before unfolding your Brompton on the kitchen table. However, they may be thankful when you have successfully tested your dynamo light. We're just going to connect him onto the dynamo popping him on. 
It is important to turn your light on if it has an off function. And don't panic that it wasn't working. The front light also has these two spade connectors to allow you to connect to your rear dynamo light. They just pop in here. To protect them, we're going to put some heat shrinkable plastic over them so that when we connect them to the rear, we can then heat them in place so it'll protect them in the rain. If you like this video about changing from a standard dynamo light to an upgraded dynamo light, we'd really like it if you gave us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, we'd love it if you subscribed. If you have any comments or suggestions, please comment in the comment section below. This is the standard look. So we're going to take you through the steps that we want to get it, get it ready. So taking our existing light that we've taken off the front one, we're going to measure the cable against that with our many hands. You ready? Come on cable, you want to go through. Hub dynamo tab connector. Hub dynamo tab connector. Hub dynamo tab connector. Right, good. We're going to have a moment of truth. Does the light work? Is the light switched on? To protect them, we're going to put some heat shrimp. Shrimp. 